it you? Is it you, Trigger, that organised all this? I'll turn it up, Del Boy. Trigger couldn't organise a prayer in a mosque. <laughs> I got lost on my way here. Been coming to this pub since she was 16. I oh, know, I found a pub, all right. I mean, I couldn't find this room. <laughs> I've been standing in your dance hall for the last hour. All the lights are out, Trick. I know. <laughs> You've been standing in the dock for an hour? Yeah. I thought we was all going to jump out and surprise her. <laughs> but there's no one else in there. I didn't know that, did I? The lights were out. How are you going, Dave? <laughs> all right, sir. Well, I'll send your man up as soon as he arrives. In the meantime, all enjoy yourselves, lads. <laughs> it's a bit of a mystery, all this, isn't it? It's like something out of one of them Agatha Christie films. Yeah. I used to fancy her. I mean, what do you think about it, right? Just think, somebody has arranged for you four to be in this room at the same time. You used to fancy Agatha Christie? Yeah. I had a picture of her on my bedroom wall. She was an old lady. All English country gardens and granny hats. Yeah, she looked a bit like Mr Kipling's bit on the side. <laughs> well, I fancied her. I saw her in that film, Dr Givago. That's Julie Christie, you <laughs> Yeah, well, whatever. I liked her. As I was saying, on a cold, rainy night in Peckham, somebody has arranged for you four to be in this room at the same time. And nobody knows who. And the most important and frightening aspect of the entire mystery, nobody knows why. Now, think hard. Who would do something like that? <laughs> Jeremy Beadle. <laughs> Filthy weather. No, 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 I have no worse. Oh, yes? When was that, then? The great storm, when the windmill got blown over. That wasn't a great storm. That was a moderately windy night. No, the really great storm was the great storm. <laughs> when was that, then? When Dave Back got decapitated. That wasn't the great storm. Well, it was pretty damn great. No, the, the, the greatest storm was the one when old Harold got blown into the quarry. Oh, that. <laughs> the great wind. The what? The great storm has got to be rain. And in the great wind, there was just wind. That was a nasty night. Oh, it reminds me of the great storm. Shut up! <laughs> right, let's get this over and done with, shall we? Ooh, I have apologies from Hugo and the vicar. Now, first on the agenda, we've been asked to make a contribution to the South American earthquake appeal. I thought perhaps ten pounds. Oh, it's not much, is it? <laughs> Hundreds of kiddies dying of starvation and we can only spare a tenner. What did you have in mind? Well, I don't know. Eleven quid? Done. <laughs> don't worry, sir. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Yes, in my experience, it's more of a case of red sky at night, thatch cottage on fire at the end of the village. <laughs> I love this kind of weather. Do you remember the great snow? Oh, yes. <laughs> Throws your balls off. Poor old Gladys. <laughs> what about her? Well, she died, didn't she? In the great snow. Froze to death one Friday. No, 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 that there was the great frost. <laughs> it, 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 it were the bottle twins, Mabel and Edith, that froze to death in the great snow of 54. Rubbish! The bottles died in the great freeze of 48. <laughs> and I'm about to die in the great bore of 94. How exciting! It's just like the great eclipse of 53. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> hey, Greg, Greg, huh? Trig, over here. Oh, yeah. What's she doing here? 
<laughs> well, I'm always here. I'm a regular here now. Here, uh, John, get my mate a pint of lager, will you? I'm afraid we don't serve beers, sir. Ah? Oh, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, I remember now, yeah. Yeah, there was uh, no call for it, so they knocked it on the head. Do you fancy a spitzer? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a try. Oh, yeah. Anyway, what are you doing down here, Trick? I thought you'd be in the old uh, nag's head. Yeah, I was, but Mike's just barred me. Barred you? What for? He accused me of stealing one of his pork pies. What do I want his rotten pork pies for? I don't even like pork pies. Oh, he's getting right out of order, that bloke. He really is. I'm thinking of suing him for deep... Definite. <laughs> Slander? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it, Trigger. I wouldn't worry. He's done you a favour, actually. No, he really has. I mean, you look round here. This place is full of yuppie sorts. Yeah, we can't go wrong here. All we've got to do is learn their language. Why, they're foreign, then? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just that they're yuppies. They don't speak proper English like what we do. I mean, I've been ear-holding them. It's all yar, super and fab and all that game. Yeah. And they love to talk about money. It's their favourite subject. I mean, you chat about money and you can't fail to impress them. Yeah? Yeah, God's honest. I saw one of them old five-pound notes the other day. <laughs> come here, come here, trick, trick. No, 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 mate. I don't mean talk about your bloody coin collection, do I? No, I mean, you just got to talk about your wealth. Yeah, but I ain't got none of that. Well, neither have half of these. They're all living in sin with their flexible friends. <laughs> it just means you've got to chat about it. You've got to talk. That's all. <clears throat> Look, I'll show you how it's done. Look, watch me. Watch this. <clears throat> it's all go when you're in a high profile business, isn't it, girls? Eh? Really? Yeah. Of course, I'm in stocks and shares myself. Yeah, I bought a few thousand shares in a little department store this afternoon. Now I've got a phone with Laura and my accountant. That <laughs> gives you the um, doesn't it? Mm. Excuse me, sorry. How do you spell Arads? Capital A. Mm, capital A. <laughs> oh, I see. I see, all right. Beam me up, snotty. <laughs> it's all you need, isn't it, eh? Yeah. Here, have this. I don't want it. Thanks. Nowadays, these modern Euro birds, they go for the more mature men who've made it in life. Yeah? Is that why we're having no luck? <laughs> no. I haven't started yet. Just building myself up to it. Yeah, well, you better hurry up and be closing time soon. All right, all right. Winner here, Trig. All right. Play it nice and cool, son. Nice and cool, you know what I mean? Drink up, we're leaving. <laughs> Aren't you going to try for them birds? No, no, you're cramping my style, mate. You're cramping my style. Right, who's next? It's Owen. Excellent. Can you send him in? Yes. Owen. <laughs> to audition for... The King. Of course, there were three kings and you are obviously one of them. That's right. <laughs> and will you be giving us an Elvis impression on the night? Well, it would be mad to dress up as him and then not lay down some serious rock and rolling. <laughs> are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me? Tonight. Can I get back to you on it? Just store that performance and come back to you. Certainly. All right. Would it help if I slept with you? <laughs> I'm 
beg your pardon? Well, I've heard you can get on in acting by sleeping with a director on a couch. <laughs> and I, for one, would be only too happy to oblige. Um, no. <laughs> Who's next? It's Jim. He's come as one of the kings as well. Oh, right. Well, I hope it isn't Martin Luther King. <laughs> Right. <laughs> he says he'll come back later. First, I'm sure we'd all like to thank Mr. Badcock for coming, and I'm sure Mr. Newitt didn't mean to spit at you on your arrival. Sorry. Also, I hope you didn't find the burning effigy of your boss too disconcerting. Thank you. Naturally, we apologise for the water shortage. Yes. Mm. Yes. As you can see from this model, you live in an area of high population growth. And so traditional water supplies are fast becoming inadequate. Do, 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 do. I, I recognise that little house. <laughs> that's where I had it off this morning. <laughs> and that's where my gran was murdered. We hid her body under the floorboard. If we could you just... You can still smell her when the wind's in the right direction. <laughs> The long and the short of it is, I'm pleased to say that we found a solution which should ensure plentiful water for the next century in the form of a new reservoir. Well, oh, it's probably easiest to show you what I'm talking about in a simple demonstration. Gonna drown. I'll be sitting at home watching Scooby Doo, and then suddenly this massive bucket of water is gonna flood the village. You can't do that. Well, we have planning permission and government backing. The plans have been available for you to look at for months. Where? In a cupboard, in our basement, in the Hong Kong office. <laughs> Naturally, all detailed objections will be considered, provided they're registered by a. Uh, oh, lunchtime today. No! Just you wait. We're going to fight you all the way on this. So be it, dear lady. Work begins in one month, and I can assure you we are very determined and we'll be ready for anything you throw at us. <laughs> oh! He wasn't ready for that. So how's the oh. petition going, everyone? We need 10,000 signatures by next week. Here's a start. Right. Best wishes, Harold Macmillan. <laughs> Not what I had in mind, Hugo. Got Benny Hill as well. Uh, no, Hugo, I need signatures of living people. No, 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 no. I've got 500 this afternoon. That's fantastic, Jim. <laughs> All opposed to the reservoir. No, 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 no. They, they, they didn't give a toss for the reservoir, but I asked them to sign if they thought Claudia Schiffer should get her tits out more often. <laughs> I see you've managed to sign it ten times, Owen. It's a cause I feel very passionately about. <laughs> Vicar, much as I applaud your efforts, I fear we have to accept the compensation the water company offer us, however derisory that is. <sighs> I thought they offered you four million pounds. What? Four million pounds? Yes, well, um, uh, do you think I'm happy about that? Well, you were dancing around the rose garden singing. Hugo, money, money, money. <laughs> You treacherous git. You'd sacrifice this village for your own personal greed. Have you no respect for tradition? Well said, Owen. For centuries, my family's been massacring deer, staging cockfights and gassing foxes in this valley, and we don't intend stopping now. Less well said, Owen. <laughs> Incidentally, this is what you'd be getting for your farm, by the way. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Dave, Dibley's a dump. Oh, for goodness sakes, Owen. There are people here who don't own their own properties. You know, they won't get any compensation at all. We're Sodom. <laughs> now will you sleep with me? I can pay you big time, babe. <laughs> Canadian clubs all round over there. And have one yourself, Michael. Cheers, Del. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, call it 25 quid for cash. OK, right, OK. Put it on the slate. Uh, no, 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 no slate, mate. Oh. I've had a visit from the brewery. Oh, all right. OK, look, there's a five of them. And, uh, oh, dear, would you Adam and Eve it? 
I've only gone and left me wallet at home. <laughs> I remember now, Damien was playing with it. I was teaching him financial management, you know, how to avoid expensive pubs. That's all. Right. <laughs> I'll sell them to someone else then, Del. No, you can't. These are second hand. Yeah, I'll sell them cheap then. All right, I'll give you a fiver for them now. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's the brewery. They've brought in this revolutionary new rule. From now on, customers have to pay for their drinks. <laughs> these newfangled ideas. Hang about. Don't go away. <laughs> I have managed to lay my hands on these radically new designed hair dryers. Right? Now, normally they retail at 69 99 up in Regent Street. <clears throat> but for you, 15 nicker. Del, look at my hair. <laughs> I went with one of them. I've only got to stick my head out the window for 10 seconds and it's bone dry. <laughs> you see, this is different, cos this, look, see that? That has got what they call a volumizer on it. You see, that goes, gives all your hair and all that body in it. Oh, so I could end up looking like Lily Savage. <laughs> Very tempting, Del. <laughs> Go on. I'm giving it to you, Michael, and I, eh? Fifteen, Nick, I can not me. Go on, then, gives it here. But you still owe me a tenner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'll tell you what, you're a bit of a gambling manager. I'll tell you what, I'll have a little bet with you, right? Double or quits, OK? Now, the thing is, <clears throat> if I win, I give you this fiver for this round of drinks. But if you win, I owe you a tenner. <laughs> you already owe me a tenner. <laughs> well, you've got nothing to lose then, have you? Hey? Right. Uh, Trig, just a minute. You'll like this, Trig, watch this. <clears throat> a little bet we're having here. OK, then, Michael. I bet if you put your hands out in front of you, I can make you turn them over without touching you. You can make me turn my hands over without touching me. Exactly. It's called the power of positive thought. All right, off you go. Put your hands out in front of you. <clears throat> now, the other way. <laughs> See? Thank you. All right, here we go. Come on. Help yourselves, get now, down, you. I have been in the motor trade for many years now, and until recently I never thought of the damage fumes did to our world. Now, let me explain to you my theory. Right, Mike, Th same again, please, will you? Uh, just allow me to continue, <laughs> will you? Now, uh, this is my theory. The future holds the key to all our success. Well, you better not tell Raquel's dad that he's an antique stealer. <laughs> <laughs> now, re recently I have invested a lot of money in electric cars. Yeah, he bought Tyler a scale electric set. <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking about model bloody racing cars, for God's sake. <laughs> Oi, Rodney, come on, get up this all round. Yeah. If it's the same as the last round, it'll be 25 quid. 25 quid? Mike? No. <laughs> All right, Dave. <laughs> I can make you turn your hands over without touching you. Hey? I can make you turn your hands over without touching you. Go on, hold them out. Now, the other way. See? There you go, Dave. 